Philanthropic is offering its Claude AI model to all three branches of the U.S. government for only a dollar. Yes, just a dollar. The offer comes just a week after OpenAI said it would be providing ChatGPT Enterprise for the federal executive branch for the same price. The Anthropic offer widens the target audience to include legislative and judicial agencies as well as the executive and would be available for a year. Under the deal, Anthropic said the agencies would have access to both Claude for Enterprise and Claude for Government. However, only Claude for Government is compatible with the Federal Risk and Authorization Management Program, meaning that it can be used to handle sensitive and classified information. Johannes, what risks would this pose if all three branches of the government were to use Claude and what safeguards would need to be put in place? Well, first off, Tiffany, it's a dollar per agency. It helps a little bit. But um, Anthropic's decision to offer Claude to all three branches of the U.S. government at that nominal fee of one dollar per agency together uh, again, you need to compare them side by side with opening a similar offer for Chat GPT Enterprise. Underlines a strategic attempt by both companies to accelerate AI integration in the public sector. However, uh, and you're right, it also raises significant concerns. First, the risk: broad deployment of such advanced models across executive, legislative, and judicial branches could expose sensitive or classified data to accidental disclosure or manipulation. Even if Claude for Government meets FedRAMP high standards and ChatGPT Enterprise claims strict data in use protections, the threat of hallucinations, model biases, and misuse remains real. Second, there are the necessary safeguards. Each branch will require tailored governance frameworks, beginning with rigorous access controls, continuous auditing, and transparent data handling policies. These must include provisions for explainability and human oversight, ensuring that outputs influencing legal, legislative, or executive decisions undergo thorough validation. Periodic third-party security assessments, strict FedRAM compliance enforcement, and structured training programs for government users will be essential. Ultimately, while the one dollar per agency offers from Entropic and OpenAI may democratize AI benefits for public service, they demand equally robust branch-specific risk management to preserve public trust and national security. To conclude this topic, uh, Tiffany, I would say to be continued because I'm sure we'll hear more about the use of Claude and ChatGPT by the US, US government. I just hope it's all good news.